But my first challenge was in second grade, I was diagnosed with learning disabilities. And yeah. um, that when I was little, like right now, it's it's very, it's not uncommon and people talk about it. But when, when I was young, I was in second grade, I was in a Canadian school system, which is oh. was why it was even detected. Um, and I was pulled out and it was literally called the dummy room. Can you believe that? I mean, yeah, I know. No, they, I mean, they, I, I don't think the teachers or the parents called it that, but I mean, nobody had any problem saying, oh, you're going to the dummy room. And so oh, I went down to the dummy room and, yeah. um, they, you know, got tested and then diagnosed. And then I would have to go there every day to try and kind of fill the gap in what was a discrepancy. So, um, you know, ADHD and, and um, dyslexia and all those things that are very common now. My husband was 800 pounds when I met him. We became friends. What? And I had no idea he was 800 pounds, but like, it's kind of a crazy thing when you're, when you're with him. And I think with a lot of people, like, it just faded away. Like he was just so sweet and funny and charismatic and lovely and all these qualities that I was like, he's just this wonderful person. Yeah. But the reality when is when you have that issue, there's a lot else more going on. And I just loved him and believed that he could get better. And, um, but addictions don't stay as yeah. one addiction. So food led to drugs and oh, wow. other things. And um, so at the end of his life, he was very addicted to a lot of substances and the sweet person that I had married and met early on was not really there anymore at the end. And that's a really sad thing. When we talked the other day, you were mentioning that you're still on your journey towards reaching your state of grace, which as we all know, the state of grace is what I call the ideal state of being. So could you share with us what would, what does your ideal state of grace looks like? Um, that's, uh, I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> I want to be Grace. Um, I, like every day I feel like we find us a, a moment and not, maybe not every day, but like where I can look out my window and go, huh, this is like, I have a good life. Like, and I really do feel that way. Like, I, I feel like I have, I'm blessed. Like we were talking also about how good we have it in this world. Like, we yes. live in a country with toilet paper. Like everywhere we go, there's toilet paper. Like